hey, hello. Um, I think the award, the Progressive Award, should go to Florence Kelly, which she's on the box, and the serial name is Crunchy Raisin Reformer. And um, I think she should get the award because she really did a lot during the progressive movement. And um, she helped abolish child labor. She tried to get better working conditions for women. She tried to um, establish minimum wage laws. She tried to um, get maternal and child health services. And she tried to boycott against sweatshops. Um, overall, some of her greatest accomplishments were the passing of the Shepherd Towner Act and the establishment of the Children's Bureau. And um, pretty much what that did was that it helped form federal and state partnerships for research um, for fights against maternal and infant mortality. This was because she felt really strongly about this because when she was growing up, she had five sisters and um, she was the only one that made it to adulthood. So she really tried to get more um, more research so there wouldn't be so much, so many deaths um, from mothers and infants. So she did that. She also had a very large influence in the, deci in the decision of the Supreme Court in the Mueller versus Oregon case. Um, which, what she was really good at was that she would gather information and she would present it to um, the Supreme Court and just, like, have facts, like, really hard facts. Like, what she did was that she went, um, she actually went to factories and she stayed there for long hours and she would, like, she would do observations on all the workers and stuff. And then, um... She, when she went to fight against the case, she actually um, had, like, scientific information about the effects of long work days on women. So that's, um, that's pretty much what she did. And she also helped pass a law that um, prohibited child labor. So it just made the law that um, no child under 14 could could work or had to work and um she was also the first factory inspector that was a woman she would go into factories and make sure that all the laws were being followed and made sure that the legislations were being you know followed also she also tried to get many factories to put labels on their clothing that said that um you know this garment was made with no child labor um, it wasn't made in a sweatshop, and all the laws were followed in the making of this garment. Um, Florence Kelly, I just think she did a lot to help women and children during this era when um, there were really bad working conditions and just, like, all that. She person she went through a lot, you know, herself. Um, she didn't really live a great life, but she would just always keep going forward. She would go into all these factories that had, like, infections and cholera and just all these things, and she would just, um, she just never gave up. She really, she really tried to make a change, and she did. So I think the award should go to her. So, yeah. Thank you.